Hey everyone, how's it going? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to mine SafeMoon V2. Now, before we get started, you guys have to remember that this is speculative mining, so no way this is supposed to be profitable, or I'm telling you to go mine this, or tell you to go buy it, or whatever. This is just totally speculative, and I bring it up just because why not just pocket some just in case it does take off one day or something, and it's it's not technically like mineable directly because it's a token you'll be mining like ethereum like etc hash and et hash and kapow and xmr and stuff like that and it'll be converting over to safe moon but anyways let's get right into the video so first off you'll obviously need a wallet for the safe moon v2 now some exchanges do have it i'll post some in the description below but what i recommend and what i do with most of my coins on mine is find the core wallet from the developers themselves and store them there so that way it's kind of not on an exchange or anything like that and you have your own coins if you know what i mean but anyways when you come onto the safe moon website i'll post the link in the description there's going to be right on the homepage here. It's going to be out now, the SafeMoon wallet. Unfortunately, there's nothing for like the actual desktop from what I could find. But there is the two apps that it has right here. So on Android for the Google Play and for Apple on the App Store. So whichever device you have, either it be a cell phone, tablet, you know, just some kind of device with Android or Apple on it. Then you can go ahead and get this actual wallet. If not, then if you have to use an exchange, I'll go through and find some and post them in the uh, description below. But the mining website or the pool that we're going to be using is on Mineable. And sorry if it looks a little weird, it's just I have the dark theme on so it kind of interchanges some of the logos and stuff like that. But once you load up the Unminable website, it will bring you to the coins page here. And as you see, there's a bunch of different coins. Like I'll scroll down and you can see there's a bunch. But like we said, the one we're focusing on is SafeMoon V2. So it should be just right up top here within like the second row. And you just want to click on it here and it's going to bring you to this page here with these different algorithms and all this information you might be overwhelmed but trust me it's like simple to do so depending on your graphics card like if you have a six gigabyte in your mind like ethereum and stuff you can do et uh et hash and that will uh mine ethereum and convert it over to um safe mode. and then if you have like a lower end one so like three four gigabyte you can do etc hash which is ethereum classic and that's the same thing that will convert it over to safe moon and then you can also do kapow which is raven coin so four gigabyte and up usually and also too there is cpu mining with random x or xmr or whatever but i'll be going through each of these and showing you guys like what miners to use and giving you a list of them for amd and nvidia because i noticed like in my comments there's difference between like the amd and nvidia i know like i knew that beforehand but i wasn't sure to put it into the tutorials before but i figure now that i have like a website i found that lists like the miners for the specific algorithm and also too on the right hand side here when you click each algorithm it's going to give you a list of miners and most miners like in our work with each algorithm so kapow etc etc hash and et hash they all work with like t-rex miner and such the only different one is the cpu random x but like i said we'll get into that so we'll start off with just ethereum classic here so as you see it brings up like available uh, mining via graphics card minimum requirements and such and that has like the list of miners so for this example i'll just use t-rex but if I'll show you guys right here, if we go over to this website, I'll post all these in the description. It's going to go through all the mining uh, software for ETC hash that you can use and it be AMD or NVIDIA. So if they're both there, like how this one is at the top, so like G miner, you can use it with both AMD and NVIDIA. Uh, for example, though, like T-Rex miner, you can only use it with NVIDIA. So for the ETC hash, like uh, example here, I'm going to use LOL Miner just because it works with AMD GPU and NVIDIA. That way it's just the best of both worlds for the tutorial. But you can use any of these from the selected list. You know, if you have problems with one, you could try another one. But I usually use T-Rex Miner just being on NVIDIA because it's just dedicated to NVIDIA only. But anyways, we'll just go through with LOL Miner. Um, I'll post a link in the description to the GitHub here. And once you're on the GitHub, what you want to do is come over to the releases side here. And then you want to click on the plus 61 releases and it's going to bring you to like this page here with the current like the latest release and you can just scroll down a little bit and then you're going to see this asset area 
And once you're at the asset area, you just want to click whichever version you like you need. So Linux and then Windows. So I'll just click on the Windows one. And then it might pop up with this obviously here, like we said in the previous one. So you just click keep dangerous file, quote unquote, but it's just because of the publisher thing. And it's just like an open source program. But once it's downloaded, you just want to go to where it is downloaded. And then you just want to right click. And then you just want to use an extraction tool. So WinRAR or 7-Zip. And you just want to go over and extract to and then the folder name itself and that will extract it to the folder itself right there but before we go any further just like in previous tutorials you want to click start and go to settings and once you're in the settings you want to click update and security and then once you're in this here you want to click windows security on the left hand side and virus and threat protection and once that loads up click manage settings and you want to scroll down until add or remove exclusions and then add exclusion, add folder. And then you just wanna to go to downloads and then you just wanna click on the LOL miner and then make sure there's no other subfolders like there is here. And then you just click on the version 1.38 and you select folder and then click yes on the pop-up. And that will exclude it so it bypasses like the firewall and everything and like the virus uh, threat security thing. And then once you do the whole like security thing and like bypass it in the exclusions, you just wanna go into the folder now, wherever you did have it. And you're gonna see all these uh, Windows batch files. And then you're gonna see like some other, like the actual program itself, like other files and such. But what we can do is go in the readme. And what this is gonna do is give you like all the configuration options, but you really don't have to pay attention to these unless you wanna go really in depth with like tuning the GPU with the minor program itself. But once you go through the readme and kind of see what algorithms it can do just to verify and like all the configuration settings and once you like kind of learn how to do it, you want to go to like the batch file. So for example, ETC, because we're doing Ethereum Classic and you just want to right click on it and then you just want to click edit. So once you have it open here, it may look like a lot of information, a little confusing just because it has to work with AMD and Nvidia. So there's a little more configuration into it, but on our part, there's not too much more. So what you want to focus on here is the begin of user editable part. So you want to focus on this little chunk here. But before we go into like changing the stratum URL, you want to go back to unminable and then you want to make sure you're on the ETC hash uh, algorithm here. And you want to scroll down a little bit and then you're going to see the global server and then you just want to click on it and it will the pool has been copied it will copy it over and you just want to bring open the notepad again and then you just want to paste it right into here so right where it has the pool equals you just want to paste right into there just like that and then for pool two you can leave it blank or you can probably just post like another one from a different location so you can choose manually set a server if you want and as you'll see there's a few different ones so for example we'll just put the europe one there so just in case there's any issues with the us pool it will jump to the eu pool and then for the wallet you want to put in as we have here we'll scroll down sfm colon your address dot worker name so you can just highlight that even if you want just so you know what you're putting in copy and then you go to wallet here or worker and then paste so you leave this part here because that's the token the safe moon and then you want to put your safe moon address right here so that's where the wallet comes into play you want to copy your wallet address from the wallet app that we talked about earlier or from the exchange and you want to paste it right into there right where your address is and then you're going to have another dot and then you can put your worker name so whatever graphics card you're using and then that's going to be that it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and then all you want to do is click file and save and that's going to save the batch file so that way it's all saved with your uh, pool and stratum and like your wallet address and then all you want to do is go back into the folder like where you saved the batch file and then you'll double click it and it'll pop up and it'll start running and uh, mining for you now like i said depending on your graphics card who knows it might not be supported with lol miner very rarely you run into that issue but we can always go back to our list here and go through and you can try different ones like i've said before or you can go on unminable here and you can check through the ones that they have that are their main supported ones and then once you are mining and it's up and going after like about like a half hour and you have accepted shares and things are running fine 
you could copy your safe moon address and paste it right into this box here and then that will bring you to your stats page for the safe moon mining and then beforehand before you even get set up i forgot to mention this earlier you, if you already know how much mega hash your card is you can type that in so for example like 20 mega hash and it'll tell you how much safe moon per day you're gonna get out and how much uh per month that you will make but yeah this process is pretty much the same for et hash and kapow i'll quickly just go through the kapow one so i have the same list here and it's going to bring up the miners and like which are supported with what uh, company so amd and nvidia uh, unfortunately it looks like lol miner doesn't do kapow so you would get something like t-rex if you're on nvidia team red miner if you're on amd or like i said you can use one of the multi ones and the process is going to be exactly the same so you'll just download the miner you'll do uh your settings and the exclusions you'll add the folder and then you'll go in to the batch file for ethereum classic or sorry kapow and you'll go in and edit the kapow one and make sure like the algorithm and this uh pool url and everything is the same i'll quickly just download a miner and show you the config file i just don't want to go through the process of showing you again since i've shown you in this video already so for the quick example of kapow i'm just using my t-rex miner that i have already on this computer so once you have it added to your exclusions and everything, you just want to open it up and then you just want to go to whichever batch file is either labeled like Raven or Kapow or anything like that. And you just want to right click edit and it's going to open in your notepad again. And it's going to be a little bit easier and like less on the page compared to like the other miner that we just used. But as you see, it has like this dash A. What you want to do is make sure that after the dash A on whatever miner you're using, if it has like the algorithm one, you want to make sure it is Kapow selected. That way you are mining Kapow. And then after the dash O, this is where you put the stratum URL. So you click on Kapow at the top here, and then you just click on that. And you just left click on it, or you can highlight it, right click copy. And then you just want to paste that right into there just like that i'm not sure if you have to put the stratum and like stratum plus tcp or whatever it is like whatever was previously there so we'll undo that so see how it has the stratum plus tcp probably better off just to put the pool url just right after it just like that and then your username is going to be the exact same as we went over before so just like this So then a safe moon and then your address and worker name and password you will leave it as x file save and then you'll run that batch file just by double clicking it and it'll start mining now we just got one last one to quickly go over uh, hopefully this isn't too long of a video or too long of a tutorial as like i said in the past i like going in depth and showing you guys so what you want to do is click on the random x cpu one so you'll see at the side here, it's XM rig only or like their mining app. Obviously there's other ones you can use and you can look through awesome miner, like the links I've posted and things like that to find other miners for the CPU. I don't know if it's a difference between AMD ones and like Intel, if there's a difference for software as well. I'm not much of a CPU miner myself, but for this one, we're just going to use XM rig because I assume it's universal. So what we're going to do is go to the GitHub. I'll post that in the description below and it's going to be the same process. You go over to the right hand side, click releases. You want to scroll down until you're at the assets again. And once you're at the assets here, you want to come down if you're on Windows here and select the Windows one. And then if you're on Linux, Mac, whatever operating system. And if you're on Windows and you have trouble with this one, the MSVC one, you can try the GCC one for Windows as well. So there's two different variations for Windows. But as usual, this is going to be like the same process. I'll just probably speed up the video here. All right, so once you all have it added to your exclusions and everything, like to bypass your uh, Windows security, you just want to go to where the folder is downloaded as usual. So once you have the folder open, what you guys want to do, you'll see all these configuration files again and stuff like that. This one looks a little more condensed down. But what you want to do is I found the easiest way is to right click and then new text document. 
and then I'm just gonna quickly copy it here that I'm I made this one quickly here I'll post this in the description so that way you guys can copy it but on your new text document here you just want to open it up and it'll be blank and then what you want to do is type in what I have here but I'll post this in the description below and then you can copy and post it into your command file and then what you want to do here is this is gonna be the pool URL here so you just copy the RX one make sure you're on the CPU and then you right click or just left click whichever you want to do to make sure it's copied and then you just want to paste it right into there just like that and then after dash U is the same process you just want to copy this from below and then you just want to uh, paste it up right there and then the, for the password it's going to be the same dash um, after the dash P it's going to be X so once you're done that you just want to click save as and then it's going to come up with like a text document but what you want to do is make sure you change the save as type to all files and what you want to do for example is change it to like unminable and then what you want to do is put dot bat and that's going to make the batch file and then I've already have it so I'll just replace it and then once you have it done what you'll see here is the unminable batch file you might see a text file still you can just delete the text file that you made and then you'll see your unminable batch file so that's a command file and you just made your own command file for a mining software and you can do this with most um, mining programs you can just go in and like I said you go through the readme and you can build it your own way but once you have it it's not gonna properly work because obviously I didn't put it in the safe moon address and all that but you just double click it and it'll load up here as you see it works it's gonna give me an error because I don't have a proper address or anything but everything is a go you, there's a few features you can go ahead and change and edit to make it better but as you see it's just an error because my safe moon address is invalid but as you see everything is working and you'll be mining with the cpu for safe moon and everything's going to be the same if you know your hashes you can put that in and then your safe moon address will just go right there but I'm sorry if this ended up being a longer tutorial I didn't plan it to be this long but there was a few algorithms that we didn't have to go into that we had to go into sorry I didn't go into ET hash because I really haven't done it but it's the same process you just make sure that you have your algorithm set as ET hash and then you'll select the ET hash pool and everything and it's the whole same process I just like to go over it with like CPU compared to GPU because it's a little bit of a different process but I hope this helped you guys and I hope you guys have fun mining SafeMoon and maybe you guys might collect a bag of it, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not supporting or like denying this project. I'm just saying why not spec mine it just like I have with Avian and other coins. But hopefully you have an easy understanding. Hopefully I didn't go too long with this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy these tutorials and they help you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But that's all I got for you guys today and this is Krabsy Crypto signing out.